you believe a team can come back and win four games when they haven't been able to win one. Four times. you got to beat a team four times. Clearly, when a team has beaten you three times, they've shown you that they're better than you. But I'm supposed to believe now, all it takes is one. I just want to win one, okay? All they have to win is one. you got to win four. They've got to win one. I don't believe the Lakers can beat the Nuggets. I do not believe the Lakers can beat the Nuggets four times. I don't believe they win tonight. Do I think they put up a, a, a valiant effort? Yes. They put up valiant efforts in every game. But in, in uh, the last five minutes of the game, in clutch situation skills, yep. the Nuggets execution has been perfect. <laughs>
uh, even when he didn't have the advantage, his mindset was to get to the rim. They left him open a few times, and this man pumped fake with nobody around him and went straight in there to the paint. Like, I'm coming to the rim. I don't care if y'all down there hanging out. I'm still coming in there. It was mindset. They had the, the dude off the bench, dude, uh, the brown boy. He's talking trash because he's coming in the game and he's going right to the rim attacking D'Angelo Russell like he's not even there. Like, and deliberately, he even talked shit about it in the dang old press conference. So it's like, I'm watching the game and I'm so frustrated that damn near every time LeBron James got his big behind down there on the block, something good happened. He either got an easy layup that they couldn't even contest a lot of times, more times than not, or somebody was wide open, a better shooter to be out there standing on the perimeter shooting threes. For some reason, I don't know, they wouldn't run sets for Austin Reeves to wind up wide open. That's been the best shooter the whole playoff run. Austin Reeves and Rui Hachimura. For the life of me, I don't know why there are no sets being run for these two guys to get open shots. Even with Rui Hachimura being a good shooter, he has the advantage on the block as well. The same type of advantage LeBron James has on the block. When when those guards or uh, what's the guy, the light-skinned dude to shoot? Um, hey, I can't think of his name right now. Porter. Michael Porter Jr. When, who's ever he's guarding, all you got to do is take his little butt down there on the block. Something going to happen. They're going to have to come double. The only good big body defender that they have is Aaron Gordon. All you have to do is find out who's Mike, uh, Michael Porter Jr. guarding or KCP and put their behind on the block. That's it. But for some reason, they insisted on running like these weak pick and rolls where they don't even set the pick for real. Like that's another thing that's been bothering me this whole uh, season with the Lakers. Even down the stretch after they, you know, went on that big run after the trade deadline. They set screens, but don't really set the screens. All of them are damn near brush screens. It's like, why are you even doing that? Yeah, it creates a certain action, but y'all not even getting each other open. Like the, it, the screen ain't even causing no real openings for real a lot of times yeah anthony davis is bigger than everybody he able to shoot them little jump hooks in the lane but this series he got pushed around like baby meat like joker's going right into his chest he's getting scooted up under the basket by aaron gordon he's getting pushed around by people that shouldn't be able to just push him around like that it's ridiculous. All them fall away shots. It's like, bro, you you were supposed to be top five in the league, man. Like now it's like it is a he's a good role player almost sometimes. Like what what's going on with that dude? Like you, you don't have enough pride in yourself to see, yo, this foreign dude is over here kicking my butt, going right at my chest. He's pushing me around and I don't have the wherewithal to be like, nah, bro, you ain't going to do that to me. It's been mindset the whole series. And I'm looking at it like LeBron, them settling for threes, running bullshit ass, pick and roll action in the middle of the floor for no reason a lot of times because the Nuggets kind of sitting back in the zone. And then on top of that, on the other end, the Nuggets, they going straight to the basket. Like they don't even care. The only person that's really just standing around shooting was Jamal Murray and Michael Porter Jr. Everybody else, they attacking the rim every time. And they don't care who down there. Oh yeah, KCP was shooting a little bit too. Um, shooting quite a bit too, but everybody, they attacking the rim. Attacking, attacking, attacking every time relentlessly. And it's like, yo, why are they getting so many easy layups? They getting the easy layups, and then y'all coming down here running stupid screen and roll action that's not doing nothing because they sitting in the zone and then jacking up threes, settling. 
or, or shooting some crazy fall away jumper. And, and like I said, I put it on LeBron because early in the series, he was shooting too many threes. The game one, where they were down three, he comes down the court with Jamal Murray standing in front of him. There's plenty of time on the clock. Why in the world am I going to shoot this three? Bro, I got Jamal Murray on him. I'm going to take his little butt down here to the block. More than likely, somebody going to have to come double. And I can get either Austin Reeves or Rui Hachimura or somebody else, a better three-point shooter, a wide open shot on the perimeter. I know LeBron has a, the greatest IQ in the world. Cool. But I swear he did not show it in a lot of these situations and instances in this doggone game. And again... All I want to do is see LeBron James succeed. But this is not one of those times where he put forth his best effort and best uh, mindset in a lot of them situations. Like the, the other game, I was he shot three threes in a row. Three of them in a row. Three wasted possessions. It's like, bro, what are you doing? You Are you trying to prove somebody wrong? Or are you trying to prove, like, what are you trying to prove? They can't stop you from going to the rim. Can't stop them at all. Meanwhile, on the other end, them boys running screen and roll, joke big, but he's setting real screens. He ain't setting no brush screens. Joker ain't setting no brush screens. Them little fake screens, ADB coming up, setting and sliding. No, nah, we ain't setting none of them. We setting real screens, and the point guard, Jamal Murray, is going straight downhill, and Yoke is going on the other side, and we, we attacking the rim. That's the difference in this series. Mindset. I don't think it was skill set at all. It was mindset and LeBron James not being extremely aggressive at all times. Yeah, you tired. Cool. Hey, that's what subs are for. That's why you got Rui Hachimura out here. That's why you got other people on the bench. Somebody got to give you a spell. But while you on the floor, we not saving and conserving energy. Like, that's not that's not what I'm used to seeing from him. You know, yeah, he'll, he'll cruise and get into the ball game and try to get his teammates involved. But... You see what the what the issue is. It's size and attacking the rim. Come on, man. This is one time I really was like, yo, they deserve to get their ass with. They deserve it. And LeBron James is number one on the on the chopping board to get his his share of the blame. Now I would say, hey, Darvin Ham. Why ain't none of the nobody on the coaching staff telling him, hey, stop shooting these fucking threes and get your big ass in the paint? But hey, they coaches, right? What are they gonna do? Earn a check or just stand there and look like they earning a check? The most annoying foolishness in the world. You see D Lo getting cooked, you still put him in the starting lineup. He ain't done nothing the whole series. He can't shoot the ball, and they intentionally attacking him on the defensive end. Why is he on the floor? Oh, never mind. Let's just start him again. And then rumors flying around to my oh, they 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 afraid to lose him because they don't want like bro these professionals. If if he get in his feelings because he go to the bitch because he's getting cooked, then you don't need to be here anyway, my guy. Get your ass out of my locker room. Like, I just don't understand the mindset and the thought process to go into these professional sports athletes when, yo, it's kids that get more, you know what I'm saying? They get more discipline than these dudes. And they getting paid the money. It's crazy to me. But hats off to the Denver Nuggets. They played their ass off and they didn't care. Like, it was a mindset of, yo, I'm going to the rim. And I'm going to make a play. I'm going to do something. And then on the uh, on the offensive boards, they were just moving people out of the way. You will see shots go up. The Lakers standing around looking. You see all the people for the Nuggets. They moving, trying to get in position. Just look at it. 
Look at a lot of those shots that went up on the offense and defensive end. The Lakers standing around looking at the shot, wondering if it's going in. And the Nuggets are moving, trying to find a way to get in position to get the rebound. That's the difference in the game. And that's the difference in the mindset of the two teams that were there in the Western Conference Finals. Hey, here's what it is. Shout out to the Nuggets again. Yo, you did your thing. <laughs> It is what it is. Another year in the books. I hope LeBron can figure it out for next year, man. That's my guy. Deuces. Um, it, was a, it was a pretty cool, pretty cool ride. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You know I think it was okay. I don't, I don't like to say it's a successful year because I don't play for anything besides winning championships at this point in my career. And, um, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't get a kick out of making a conference appearance. I've done it a lot, and, <laughs> and it's not fun to me to not be able to be able to be a part of, uh, you know, getting to the finals. But, um, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what happens going forward. Um, but I don't know, I don't know. I got a lot to think about, to be honest. I got a lot to think about, to be honest. And um, just for me personally, going going forward with the game of basketball, I got a lot to think about. Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button.